Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Julia and I'm here with my weekly favorites and fails. And in case you didn't see my uh, two videos before, I do have a fail for this week, actually for the past two weeks. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with that one so we end on a good note. But first, you may notice I don't have my brace on my hand today. Um, after two x-rays, they have confirmed there is no fracture. Um, and if the pain does not go away, I have to see a specialist and then get an MRI. So, I have decided to take the brace off as much as I can during the day so my hand can get used to doing for, you know, doing things again because for a couple of weeks now it's just sat there. So, um, really trying to work it out a little bit and I am still in my workout clothes. Um, obviously have not been training. I haven't been doing any weights because couldn't do that. Uh, but I have been doing elliptical and treadmill and things like that, just getting the calories burned. So, anywho, so that's the update with that. And so let's get started with the negative. And if you look at this, you would say, well, that's a Lorac Mega Pro palette. Why on earth would she be sad about that? Well, here's why I'd be sad about this, because it's fake. It is fake. And I did not realize it was fake until I went to sell it and never even noticed, but this color right here that says ULAC should be LILAC. And uh, yeah, so the whole reason, well, I'm not gonna go too much into it. I'll let you watch that video, um, but I will uh, try to remember to link that down below so you can get the scoop on this. So that is my negative for the week. Okay, let's start with my weekly favorites and talk about the primer because I have been going between two primers all week long and I am in heaven. Love them both so much. The first one is a drugstore primer. It is the Maybelline Master Prime uh, Blur and Illuminate Primer. <clears throat> this gives you a nice illumination without making you look like a glow ball and actually does provide some nice moisture to the skin. Um, it is just amazing. I have this on today underneath my Estee Lauder D uh, Double Wear foundation, which can be very drying and matte, but this underneath gave it a nice mixture and it didn't, the Estee Lauder didn't um, cake up on, on my dry patches down on my chin since I was wearing this. So I really, really do like this. Next primer is not a drugstore. It is, um, I believe I did purchase this at Ulta, but I tell you what, it's worth every penny. It is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a wonderful thing to have on those mornings where you didn't sleep well the night before or you stayed up too long. Um, it's not going to, you know, instantly just make you look, whoo, I'm awake kind of thing. Kind of hard to explain. It really just evens everything out and in a way it really does make you look, you know, better. It has uh, coconut water in it, electrolytes and probiotics, so it really is good for your skin which I guess that's how it does that, right? Hello, and it's silicone free, which is great. And yeah, this is very good primer. It does not, um, it's not thick. It just, it's more like, it's very thin, kind of like a serum, and it really just sinks into my skin. So by the time it got the foundation set to go on, it's like nothing's on my face. So love that, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's talk about, a under the eye powder and a blush. I hauled these, um, that video was up this past Wednesday, just two days ago. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. I will link that down below as well. But it's two products by Laura Geller. I am completely 100% in love with both of these. The first is the Balance and Brighten in the Fair. This is a baked um, kind of like their baked foundation 
but it's their Balance and Brighten it, and it, I don't know if I said it is in the color Fair. I have been using this with the uh, same brush I have used for a while now for under the eye. Completely love this. It does not irritate my eyes in the least. It does not cake up. It does not go into any fine lines. It gives you nice coverage and it brightens up underneath the eyes just enough. I'm telling you, this is a phenomenal product. I have wanted to try this for a very long time and I just did. My husband gave me a gift card to Ulta and I went and it was in a gift box. This with this with a lip gloss and a uh, makeup brush and a mascara so I have really really been enjoying this and I have worn it underneath my eyes every day since I got it and I actually got it a couple of days after Valentine's Day and so yeah really been loving that and next is the blush that came in the pack this is the baked blush and brighten in the color roseberry this is beautiful and the color looking at it looks like it would be way too bright and dark especially for me but i have this on today it is a buildable blush for certain you give a nice just one swipe on your cheek you have a nice light just a pure color um, that really just makes your cheeks just stand out um, and if you want it darker, you you can keep going. It doesn't, again, cake up. It doesn't sink in anything. It is just a beautiful blush, and it does stay all day. So I have really, really been enjoying that. Okay, let's talk about eyebrows. Um, this week, I'm still using my Maybelline Define a Brow. This is in the color of medium brown. And I'm actually almost out of this. And there is this in the medium brown. And I think I actually need a darker color of that. And then I've been using the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. Um, this is nice. Now, this isn't going to um, control any unruly brows. But if you need to, like, fill in a little bit, this is very nice very nice at all and I've been wearing both of those all week absolutely all week and also in that Laura Geller box was this mascara I have really been liking it I especially love it on my bottom lashes simply because the size of the brush it's not so big that it makes me just get it everywhere. Um, and actually, when I use it on my top lashes, it's very nice. It gives you great volume, and I have really been enjoying it. And again, the size of the brush makes it very user-friendly. Okay, let's talk about eyes. I'm kind of like going at a good rate today. On my eyes for the past week, I have been using this palette. It's from NYX. It's the Dream Catcher Palette. This was sent to me by a very sweet girl who is in a beauty group that I'm a part of for uh, on Facebook. And it was a Valentine's Day swap. And this is one of the things that she was sweet enough to send me. And I love it. I have never used any of the NYX shadows and was very excited to use these. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful colors. The pigment is amazing. They did not uh, irritate my sensitive eyes in the least, and I am really enjoying this palette. If you want to see a look with this or thorough swatches, let me know, and I can do that for you. Okay, next let's talk about lips, and it's what I have on my lips today and what I have had on my lips for the past week. Been loving it. First, let's talk about MAC. Uh, lip liner. This is in Morning Coffee, and we can just go ahead and say it. That's okay. I am completely addicted to all MAC lippies, whether it is a lip liner or a lipstick. That is Morning Coffee, and you see I need to sharpen it, actually, so I'm getting down on that one. For a lipstick, I hauled this Wednesday, but again, I've had this for a couple of weeks. It is Myth. Let me clean that off. Let's see. Get so dirty. <laughs> Here is Myth. And 
in case you've been under a rock and you haven't seen what that color looks like it is this right here it is very light it is very very light but i line my lips and fill it in with the lip liner i put this over it and then on top of that i put a this is uh, Buxom's White Russian on top of that. Just that, uh, just that nice little glow on top from the lip gloss and that light color just really makes the lips pop and makes them look a lot larger. Okay, now last but not least, let's talk about a few skincare items because I have been tickled pink with my skin having to like scrub that lip liner off love that um i have been tickle pink with my skin uh as you know i do have a dry area right here and generally i am red right here but i have started using a few new things and unfortunately um i'm not sure which of these things did it but i'm just going to show you the things that i have changed in my beauty regimen because something has changed uh, my skin. I'm not red here anymore, and I don't have these big, dry, scaly patches where my skin's uh, flaking off. Crazy stuff. Okay, first is first for my morning, um, my morning face wash. I tend to purchase things that are exfoliating to wash in the morning, the ones that are citrusy, um, and I don't need to do that. I think I was over exfoliating my face, even though it's a light exfoliation, uh, but I use my uh, Skin New Sonic brush at, in the evenings, every evening, so I really don't need to exfoliate any other time. So, got a sensitive face wash. This is the Michael Todd Honey and Oat. This again has that citrus smell, but it's not um, not going to give me that harsh exfoliation. It says it gently removes dirt, oil, makeup, and impurities without residue or irritation and is good for all skin types. So it has honey and it has a sweet, say honey and sweet lemony, lemony citrus foaming cleanser. So I love this. So that was in the morning. And this is going to shock any of you that have been with me for a while, but I have shown these Kirkland facial towelettes many times. And each time I say I have them at my beauty desk and I use it to clean off my desk and my hands after doing my makeup, I refuse to use them on my face. I just felt like it was too harsh for my face, even though these are not harsh in the at all because they have chamomile, cucumber, uh, aloe. It's just very soothing, but still refuse to use them on my face. Well, I started using Bioderma, um, which I'm really trying to get used to. I'm just not really liking it yet too much um, to take my eye makeup off. And I decided I'm going to use these to take the face makeup off. And the first day, it felt kind of irritating. And I was like, well, I'm not going to use them again. So the next day came, I was like, well, I'm going to give it another shot. Soothing, so soothing. Use it the next day, so soothing. The next day, so soothing. It does not leave a film on my face. It is just, it gets everything off and your face is soft and lovely after it. I have been using this and uh, I may keep using it because it's really nice. Very nice. And again, I get these at Costco and love them. Love them, love them, love them. Oh, you know what? I forgot one thing in the box basket before I show the next two skincare items. It is the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx. This is the eyeliner I have been using on my eyes. We have had snow here, and with the sun reflecting off the snow, my eyes have been watering like crazy. Um, so I need an eyeliner that's going to stay, and this one is awesome. It is Onyx. There it is right there, just a pure black color. Great, great eyeliner, and I am 
going to be finished with that pretty soon. Okay, last two things. They are two serums from Timeless. I hauled these a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the one I use at night is the 20% vitamin C plus E plus fer ferulic acid serum. I've been using that. And in the morning, I added the Matrixyl 3000 serum, which has hyaluronic acid. These were extremely affordable on the Timeless website. I believe there was a, I think there was like a 10% discount code or something like that. But they are like between 20 and 30, I believe, and just have been amazing for the skin. It's just like you're splashing water on your face. Um, you, you put it on your face and it sinks right into your skin and you don't know it's there. So these are the last two things that I changed in my skincare regimen. So I am not sure what, which of these is responsible for the better skin or if it's a combination. I generally don't try to add things, multiple things at the same time just for that reason. Because if there's a bad, if bad response by something, you don't know which one it is. And if there's a good response, you don't know which one it is. But I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. Okay, um, all this moving around. I need to go put my hand brace back on. But um, yeah, if you have a question on any of the items that I showed, please let me know. And um, let me know what you've been loving this week, will you? And yeah, I just want to say a real quick hello and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. Um, just let me know if there's anything that you want to see in any of the subscribers that I have had for a while. I love you and just keep watching. And uh, as always, all of my social media sites are listed down below. My email is down below as well as my P.O. box. If you want to be, uh, if you want to write me a note, you can. Or if you want to do a makeup swap, we can. So, yeah. Just let me know. Love you all though. Keep watching. Have a great day.